Hi, my name is Tulio de Oliveira. I'm a professor in genomics and bioinformatics at the University of KwaZulu-Natal and also a senior researcher at the Wellcome Trust Africa Center for Health and Population Studies in South Africa. We are actually invited to write a review to this journal. Eh? And in the request, the editor asked us to review all the new recent evidence about difference between drug resistance level across subtypes in the globe. We thought that that was an important question to answer, especially as the treatment in Africa had expanded dramatically in the last few years and is across very different subtypes than exist in the, in the developed world. For a review, the first thing is to clearly identify what you are interested in. And in our case, we went to review the past 10 years of the literature on HIV and drug resistance. So what we did is to use a specialized database and such tools and to identify a large number of papers that deal with HIV drug resistance across different subtypes. After that, we read the abstract and we select the papers that would fit in our topics of our reviews. The first thing that we found is that the antiretroviral drugs work very well across all the different subtypes in the world. However, it's growing some evidence that maybe some specific mutations may be different across different subtypes. For us, what was very interesting was a mutation called the K65R that may be developing quicker in subtype C, that's the main subtype affected in Southern Africa. It means that there is no need to select different regimens and different drugs for different regions in the world. But it also means that local research is very important to identify different mutations that may occur in local strains. Yeah. In our case of Tenofovi, it's very important to still use that drug because it's a very good drug with very low side effects. But we also have to keep an eye to make sure that the resistance level will not grow and that we will jeopardize the use of this drug in the region. Our next step is really to do local research on the appearance of K65R and the use of tenofovir. We are very interested in what's the impact of this mutation, together with other mutations, and how that can jeopardize second line and future treatment. We are also very interested on see what's the effect of the use of tenofovir on patients that start treatment early, as now, especially in light of the new evidence showing that treatment can prevent infection, and what would be the trade-off between preventing infection and development of resistance on subtype C.